Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host, Gavin Hatch. This week we are going to visit SeaWorld Orlando. So coming up to the entrance from the parking lot, I noticed the light post banners for the 50th anniversary have been replaced with new advertising. The new ads focus more on the animals and the care for which they receive. They are found all throughout the park as well. Also in the entrance of the park, I noticed signs pointing guests in the direction of zones. I've never seen anything like this in a park before, and I found it rather odd. Zone A is where guests can do self-service ticketing such as buying them from a kiosk with a credit card, redeeming printed vouchers, and even pass reprints. Zone B is where most guests go to get their tickets. This is where you deal with a team member, and guests can set up easy pay contracts for passes, pay with cash for tickets, speak to guest services, and do will call. Zone C is the bag check area, and where you enter through the turnstiles. Again, I've never seen anything like this before, and I really want to know if it helps with directing guests to where they need to go. In the comments below, please let me know what your take is on the zones, and if you think it's beneficial. Once inside the park, I noticed over on the waterfront area, the Seafire Grill has an all-new look. The outside has been repainted, and has more of a Tex-Mex look to it. On the other side, you can see the outdoor seating area is more open as they have cut down trees and removed the thin wires that were in place along the fence to help keep the animals out. The inside of the restaurant, though, did not go through any major changes. Not too far away, another dining option, Voyagers, has had a big banner added outside advertising the different offerings inside. I wonder if they've had a hard time getting guests to dine here. It's a very big restaurant. Across from Voyagers, I was happy to see that for the summer season, the Pearl Divers have made a return. But I did notice that they have added a cart that is rolled out closer to guests for them to see better when someone opens their Pearl. Over by Shark Encounter, more construction walls are up in the area for the Mako roller coaster that will be opening in the back of the park in the summer of next year. I like how they've added a lot more concept art to the walls. We can also see from the pictures that the Shark Encounter building will have its exterior updated to match the new coaster look. I also like how the coaster will come down close to the lake opposite the entrance of the ride, as you can see here in the concept art. Outside the Nautilus Theater, I noticed advertisements for Oh Wondrous Night, which is a fantastic show that is performed during the Christmas season and coming up very soon. So the day I was in the park, they had just opened up an all new quick service dining option. Mama's Pretzel Kitchen allows pretzel connoisseurs to savor sweet and salty pretzel combinations while sipping on a variety of local and seasonal craft beers, frozen cocktails, wines, and soft drinks. The menu features a selection of original and out-of-this-world soft pretzel creations, such as Mama's Meatball Pretzel Twist, Bacon Pretzel Twist, Cinnamon Sugar Pretzel Nuggets, and Pretzel Wrapped Bratwurst. I think they did a great job on this place. It was themed very well and was very detailed. I liked this vintage picture of a group of kids meeting Shamu in what appeared to be the 70s. I wonder who they are and the story behind how it made its way into the pretzel kitchen. It also features a relaxing outdoor patio located across from Shamu Stadium with lots of speakers playing a soundtrack of a seaside village and seagulls which I found relaxing. Over on the bridge to take us back to the front, I noticed that the boats that are normally docked and showcased here are gone. I wonder if it's a permanent change or if they are just gone to be refurbished. Next to Manta, I saw this colorful sign that is found at the entrance of the Manta Aquarium. I have never noticed it before, so I think it might have been recently added. If you've never been in the Manta Aquarium, check it out next time because it is really cool. Well, that does it for this week's edition of Photo Finds. Until next time, make sure that you get out, have fun, and enjoy the parks.